I'm doing a lot of freehand chainsaw milling and I have been for the past year or so. Um, I learned that from the awesome channel called Advoco Makes. We'll put a link in the description below so you can check it out. And he is awesome. Everything he does is awesome. <laughs> um, in it, he does say that you should, sh you should sharpen your chain at 10 degrees, not the normal 30 or 35. Um, I have done, in fact, this is a sharpened at 10 degrees. I have used this one, but I haven't really noticed much of a difference between 10 and 30. So today I thought we'd actually time it so we can finally put it to bed basically and whichever one's faster and more efficient then I will use that. So I've cut off a couple of slices of this small log here and so at least the two slices will be the same width so it's comparable. Um, so yeah let's do this. I'm going to start with the 30 and then I'll change the chain to the 10 degree and see which one's fastest. That was six minutes and 24 seconds. So now I'm gonna change the chain to the 10 degree chain and see how fast that is. Let's fill her up as well so I don't have to stop halfway out of fuel. Alrighty, let's do this. Well, that definitely was quicker and easier. I felt I, 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 I felt much better with it. Eh? So pretty good. That was four minutes, 32 seconds. So two minutes quicker. So less fuel and less backache. <laughs> Ready. Now, another thing that I do want to check is um, how efficient it is compared to an Alaskan mill or a jig that you make yourself. Um, Advoco, in his video, he says it's two to three times more efficient, which is one of the reasons why I prefer to do it like this, apart from it being super rewarding. Um, but yeah, maybe one day I'll get an Alaskan mill and I'll be able to compare it uh, regarding efficiency and fuel efficiency and time. Alrighty, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Take it easy. Thank you to Rich, who is our temporary resident drone pilot. So thank him for the awesome footage and I'll see you next time.